Hey guys, so when we're doing linear motion, you may remember that you had a set of four equations that you would use to solve a whole bunch of different types of problems. Well, in rotational motion, it's exactly the same thing, except they're going to take different letters. Let's check it out. So, as it says here, just like in linear motion, there are four equivalent motion equations for rotation. It's the same exact thing, they just have funny looking letters. All right, so as it says here, you often use these when you're given a lot of rotational quantities. It's usually a word problem and it starts throwing out things like the velocity, the acceleration, and you would use these equations. The process is the same exact one. Um, the equations just look a little bit different. So we're gonna rewrite these equations real quick. Um, instead of V, I'm gonna have W or omega. So it's the same thing, omega final equals omega initial. Instead of A, I'm gonna write alpha T. Same thing here, omega final squared, omega initial squared plus two alpha delta theta, right? And then delta theta equals uh, omega initial T plus half of alpha T squared. And then this one is delta theta equals half omega initial plus omega final times T. You can think of this as translating from linear to rotational, same exact stuff, the letters just look different, um, different variables. So I have a star here, an asterisk, because remember, same here, um, in some cases your professor may only give you these three equations and wants you to stick to three of them. This is the extra fourth equation. You should know by now whether your professor is cool with you using it or not. Um, remember also that when you're solving motion problems, you need to know you need to know three out of five variables. Remember that one variable will be your target and one variable will be your ignored variable. And this is the one that will determine the equation you use. Equation to use, okay? This is very straightforward. Let's do some examples. All right, so here, a wheel initially at rest. So initially at rest used to be that the initial velocity is zero. Um, it still means that, but now it's initial angular velocity because this wheel is going to rotate around its central axis. So you can think of it as a big disc, something like this, right? Imagine that's a disc and it has a central axis, meaning like some sort of stick and it can spin around it like that. Okay, so it, it starts from rest, so the initial omega is zero, and it's going to accelerate with a constant four, radians per second is acceleration, so alpha equals four, until it reaches 80 radians per second squared. You can think of this as meters per second, but in rotation, okay? So that is your final velocity. It's not actually meters per second, you can just think of it that way. Omega final equals 80 radians per second. All the units here are correct. Um, so as I mentioned, you can tell that you're supposed to use this because you start getting a lot of rotational quantities, right? In this case, I already know three of them. So I, I know that I can already solve whatever I'm going to, I'm about to be asked. Okay, cool. So it says by the time it reaches 80, how many degrees will it have rotated through? How many degrees it's gonna have rotated through? It's asking for delta theta but it wants the answer in degrees, which means I'm going to get it in radians because the equations always spit out delta theta in radians, and then you have to convert to degrees. Cool, so I'm gonna do what I always do, which is list my five variables here. Delta theta is what we're looking for, and the variable out of the five that didn't get mentioned was delta t. So I'm gonna put a little sad face here, and I'm going to pick the only equation out of the four that is missing a delta t, which is this one. There's no delta t on this one, okay? So, same thing as before, omega final, omega initial, got the squares, two, alpha, delta theta. Delta theta is what I'm looking for. I'm gonna move everything out of the way, so delta theta, the target variable is by, is, variable is by itself. Omega final squared minus omega initial squared. This stuff comes to the other side dividing. Um, now we're ready to plug in some numbers. I'm going to set it up like this. 2 
Now we're ready to stick the numbers inside of the parentheses. Final velocity was 80, the initial is zero, and the acceleration is four. So um, if you do all of this, you end up with 800 radians. Remember, it's, these equations always spit out radians. And then we're going to convert. So I'm going to do um, pi radians at the bottom and then 180 degrees up top. I'm going to cancel radians with radians. We're left with degrees. So 800 times 180 is 45,800 degrees. And that's a crap load of degrees. It spins a whole bunch. Um, for part B, Part B is asking how long in seconds does it take? In other words, what is our delta T? Delta T was originally my ignored variable, but now we're looking for delta T. We can use, since it's the same situation, I can use delta theta. So I actually have, I know, four out of five variables. I only needed three, but I know four. And when I know more than what I need, um, it means that I'm going to have more flexibility with the equations instead of having having to use one specific equation, I can use any equations that have delta t, which in this case, there's three of them. Okay, so uh, the simplest equation to use would be the first one. So I'm going to use that one. All right, and we're looking for t. Let me circle it. So if I move everything out of the way so that t is by itself, it looks like this. And T equals, let's plug it in, the final is 80, initial is 0, the acceleration alpha is 4, so the answer is 20 seconds. All right, that's it. Very straightforward, just like it was before. You just have to basically make the adjustment for the letters, um, and you see different you know, units, and you know, it's going to say things like central axis and rotation. Um, so it's the same thing, just in the rotational world. All right, well, that's it for this one. Let's keep going.